Jack Stewart Axelrod uh, said something that the President has been saying for a long time, which is that Republicans are holding the middle class tax cuts hostage. As I understand it, Democrats haven't introduced a bill in the Senate, uh, and the Republicans have. Wouldn't there have to be a bill that the Republicans are threatening to block or blocking before anything is being held hostage? Uh, I, I don't know what bills have been introduced in the Senate. Obviously, I think the, the posture of uh, – I don't think the, the bill would have to be the existence of – I mean, I think they're – the rhetoric alone from Senator McConnell and others have been uh, that the price of – there's a $700 billion price tag on moving forward on the tax cuts for the middle class. That's the tax cuts for the wealthy. For the posture, is it not? It doesn't have to be yeah, an actual – Absolutely. And, uh, you know, look, we – I said this – it's now been a couple of weeks, obviously, but, you know, we, we, we agree on – we agree on the middle class part of this, or so they say. Their price tag for the middle class was the $700 billion. We could have passed the middle class alone, provided some much-needed certainty to, uh, to the economy and to middle class families, uh, and had still had plenty of time to debate the $700 billion price tag for, uh, for the other cuts. Why not do that? Why not introduce Why not the bill and, the and, and force Republicans to – They, they weren't willing to do that. They were unwilling to – uh, they want to introduce but a bill. You can introduce a bill. That's the point. You can introduce no, no, the bill. No, no, guys, I don't, I, what I'm, I, my original answer was I don't, I don't think the bill is the existence of, uh, of, the, of the fight. It is that, look, not, John Boehner you're said. You're not even fighting with them. But, but John Boehner said quite clearly on Sunday that he would go along with the middle class stuff, right? Then fury rained down, and quickly we crawfished back over to, whoa, whoa, wait, middle class. It's going to the price for doing middle class is tax cuts for the wealthy, and and uh, we could have done middle class. Is it the real problem, the fact that there are Democrats who agree with the Republicans on this issue? There are 47. I think we could have done middle class, but the Republicans weren't interested. Yeah, but but the you, you don't need the support of the Republicans in in the, in the House to pass anything. No, you, but but to play along with your if a bill has to become you got to pass them in both houses and. You were not going to get 60 votes to go and just do middle class tax cuts, were you? Yeah, but I guess my question is, why not try? If, if you actually think that this is a winning campaign Because issue. the Republicans were, Republicans said they weren't going to do it. You don't know unless you. No, you, come no. on, Chuck. No. <laughs> no, but, I mean, You're under the impression there were like six Republicans no, Repu that were going to play. You have to have a bill wall. back on uh, unemployment extension. In order to get them, uh, uh, why not introduce the bill? I, the existence of the bill isn't the pre isn't isn't some great starting line for this debate we've been debating tax cuts without i mean i, I don't uh, a, a bill you could write on the back of a napkin we could get th that's not the the notion that, that you didn't have a vehicle to do this is is responsible to wait till the lame duck session to do that do i think it's responsible to wait for the lame duck session to pass middle class tax cuts no i thought the republicans were irresponsible and held the middle class tax cuts right, stay should the recess be canceled at this point? Well, I think we're push on But the point is, you've pushed yeah, through. They, they, this wasn't Chuck. When you guys are on your show debating tax cuts, you didn't preclude. You didn't. You did not have that debate because there wasn't a bill in in Congress. Let's not like get rung around the pole on on bill introduction semantics. The point is, there certainly have been there has been legislation in the, that the president firmly believed in, and he pushed vote on it even though he didn't know whether he would be able to get the votes in the Senate. You go well, one step at a time. If you believe in it that strongly, you Chip, tell the House, Chip, let's push this Chip, through. Let's Chip, on. Chip there let's wasn't, the there Why wasn't, the there, there, there was, we can't, Chip, look at, look at the statements from the Senate Republicans. This wasn't going anywhere. They had decided to stop middle class tax cuts. Neither was cap and trade. They you, had, you, you pushed for the House to get on the record on so it. So all they need to do is issue a press release and you guys will back off any fight. I don't, I don't understand your question. All they have to do is say the Republican caucus is not going to support this, and, and Democrats Senate. will just say, oh, okay, well, then we're not even going to try. No, I, 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 again, Jake, I, I, uh, you're, you're making the existence of one piece of legislation the beginning or the end of this entire fight. I think that's kind of a silly concept. If you're talking uh, about a bill being the, held hostage, it hasn't even been written as far as anybody knows. Uh, okay, the, the, the concept of tax relief for the middle class. Does that make it any less of a hostage because I didn't say it as a bill? Yeah, it does make uh, it less of a well, hostage because there isn't an actual piece of legislation I, I that anybody's trying to push. But you're saying, you're saying Mark, because it can't I'm get sorry. through the Senate, I'm sorry, the Democrats I'm in the, the House shouldn't it go wasn't, you, It wasn't you, going anywhere, Do you feel that you 
underestimated the difficulty of getting Democrats to vote for your tax cut proposal, which is middle class so. but not the rich? I don't think so, no. Were you, so you weren't surprised that 47 Democrats said they wouldn't do it? I, I, I don't know how many Democrats uh, support what. I, I know, I, I know, Mara, I, I, I. Well, you don't know have any in the Senate. I, I, well, I, I know that all you need to know in the Senate was you needed 60 votes to get to a bill, and there's 41 Republicans who said they're not going anywhere. Now, I'm not great in math, but 100 minus 41 does not get you to the number, bill or not. In well, my lame duck session, too. Just to follow up on that. Well, I think No, I think, I, I, Chip, I, I, the, I assume it's going to get brought up in the lame duck largely because uh, we have until the 31st to make some big decisions. You're sending Democrats home without the opportunity for them to have said, I voted to extend the middle class tax cuts. Well, again, you didn't I, give them a chance to do that. And this is Mara, the season when you're trying to draw contracts with the Republicans. Why not? Because draw Mara, I, 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 having worked on uh, probably eight U.S. Senate campaigns, I don't think he, I don't think a candidate needs a vote uh, to necessarily say what they support. I think they're. I think candidates are going to go home and say they support extending only the middle class tax cuts. Uh, I wish the Republicans would agree. I don't think we should spend seven hundred billion dollars giving hundred thousand dollar tax cuts to millionaires at a time in which we have a budget deficit like it is, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I think that's a pretty clear I'm at a disadvantage. No, I think that's well, a pretty one, clear just one statement. last question on this in terms of the timing. And there's been so much talk about uncertainty for businesses. They don't know how to plan. They don't know what the tax code is going to be like. These tax cuts have been set to expire for a very long time. Why wait? Why did you wait so long to, to try to resolve them? Well, I, I could have had a vote on extending them anytime you wanted. Well, I, I, look, I, I don't. You, that's a better question for somebody up on Capitol Hill. I, I, Mara, I think, again, uh, I think the president's position on extending the tax cuts, uh, he has had the same position on extending on on supporting middle class tax cuts, the middle class portion of the Bush tax cuts, since I worked for him in 2004. So his position has been very well known. Do you ever urge the leaders on the Hill to take it up earlier? Uh, I, I, not that I'm aware of.